because I wanted to tell you about some stuff or something in particular that scared the absolute shit out of me this week. Um, and it came from some comments that were made in conversation with me. I've been, obviously I chat to a lot of women in business and um, I'm going to tell you what was said. And when I tell you about this, like if this resonates with you or if you felt like this or you've heard other people say this and, you know, maybe just even give me a like so that I know that you're like, yes, I hear you PB. So um, people saying things like, I can't just wait for this all to be over, this whole COVID thing to be over just so I can go back to normal. I'm just going to battle down um, and just, you know, do to see if I can just survive through this because, you know, maybe in a couple of weeks time, everything can go back to normal. Um, so there's this like retraction going on in the hope that everything's just going to go back to normal. And my, this actually really scares me. One of my biggest fears right now is this whole concept of stopping. And I don't mean like pushing and doing things for the sake of doing things, but it's like, this is the perfect opportunity for you to actually be looking at what's happening in your business and just taking this for an example and seeing where the gaps are. And I, for one, don't want to be backing down into mediocrity or just, you know, sitting back, just hoping that, you know, the world's just going to go back and everything's going to be awesome. And I would love, you know, I, I think the world is awesome. The world is awesome right now. But why not use this as an actual gift? And rather than just pretending like it's not here, looking at where the gaps could be in your business and going, well, where is this broken? How can I do this better? I'm, you know, on the flip side, I'm getting stories from our clients who are talking about their clients and, you know, um, women telling me how they just thought of something completely new and did something a different way, which they never would have thought of doing, um, you know, and made like four or five K in a day, um, you know, and these are people who thought I'm going to have to go on to job seeker. I'm going to have to do stuff like this. So be really, really careful. This is scaring me and it should scare you to just be sitting back and going, I'm just gonna sit under my blanket and you know take each day and hope that you know one day I can poke my head out and everything will be back to normal. Whereas if you actually went, fuck that, I'm actually gonna use this as a, an amazing opportunity to just really look at how do I do business? Does the model that we work with right now actually work? Um, you know, what are we selling? How do we, how do we generate that? Could we still generate what we're doing even when we have to be at home? Like there's so many amazing questions. This is my favorite things to, to do. It's like asking the what if questions, asking the solution based questions for business. So, um, don't, don't fall into that trap of just sitting there and hoping that this is all just going to go away and that one day you'll wake up and you can go back. I don't actually think there is a go back to normal anymore. So take this, embrace it. Uh, and come out of it stronger than ever. I'm seeing it happen all the time and there's no reason why that can't be like that for you. Hi, amazing one. I hope you're loving this video. If it's vibing with you and feels like it's the right fit for you, then please come join us over in our free Facebook group. I'd love to get to know more about you and your business really soon.